Did you watch uh, SmackDown and Rampage? I watched Rampage and I watched almost all of SmackDown. I was uh, I'm about 20 minutes from the finish, actually, on SmackDown. But um, great, great reacting crowd in Wilkes-Barre for, um, or Wilkes yeah, Wilkes-Barre. It can be pronounced both ways. But anyway, um, for SmackDown and... Um, um, but I, I thought that, I mean, what, you know, just like they were really into, um, Matt Riddle and, uh, and Sami Zayn, they were into the women's tag team title match. And the matches were good. The wrestling was very good. I mean, uh, you know, Riddle and Sami Zayn was a, a, a very nice match. Yeah. Um, and Raquel uh, and Ronda. Raquel and Ronda wasn't, was, was, I felt it was, way a little, uh, it was a little rough in spots, but it was good. Yeah. yeah. But for two people who've never wrestled before and... Didn't have any time to go over and practice the match probably multiple times. I mean, I thought they had a good... It was six minutes long, so they didn't have like a ton of time. But I thought they had a good six-minute match, which uh, Rousey was also, won with a cradle, actually. Didn't submit her. Yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, it was Ronda had to do a completely different match because of uh, Raquel's size. So, you know, it was a match where more where she was selling the other woman as a power wrestler. Which I mean, she never even did that with Nia Jax. She's—I don't recall her ever doing this style of a match. So in that sense, you know, it was it was testing her versatility, and I thought she did very well with it. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, you know, so she's doing. A, it appears she's going to be doing a weekly open challenge type thing. That's yep. what it looked like yep. uh, for the championship. So that's interesting. That was interesting stuff. Butch um, and Kofi was good. mm Hmm. I thought the uh, women's tag with Sasha and Naomi versus Natty and Shayna better than I expected. I that was good. It was fine. It was um, it was fine. Yeah. And then, of course, what you missed in the main event was uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos come out, which was about uh, I'd say 14 minutes of the 15 minutes that you uh, didn't see was that entrance. And uh, long story short, the Usos accepted the challenge. So this coming Friday, they are allegedly doing the unification match. Free on SmackDown on Friday night. I wonder what they're doing on pay per view. Um, they got to come up with something. Plus, it's a hell in a cell. Yeah, and they don't. Um, I mean, I guess they could do Cody and Seth, right? I mean, Cody and Seth. At least they've had two meetings, so maybe that's it. Um, so yeah, maybe that's the main event. But um, yeah, I mean, no Roman Reigns on Chicago on on, on Hell in a Cell. And um, if they're doing, a, you know, the tag team, it's going to be a rematch. So we'll see. I mean, like, you know, originally they weren't going to unify the titles. I mean, because it's TV it makes me almost think that they're going to do a DQ or something, you know, to not do it. But, um, you know, it comes day of the show. Vince can decide, you know, by the way, the, on the Money in the Bank thing, because we haven't talked about this yet. So um, Money in the Bank is Money in the Bank. Do you know who um, put the line in that Cody said? Cody? No, Vince McMahon. Okay. So every so everyone was confused. I Vince see. McMahon put it in. Everyone was confused, and they keep playing the same promo where he says that the winner gets a shot at WrestleMania. And, I mean, it's not... They don't say the winner has the opportunity if they choose to get a shot. It's the winner gets a shot at WrestleMania, but that's not the WrestleMania plan. As of right now, of course, it can change. Um, but... You know, creative has been told, the key people involved have been told that uh, it's the same money in the bank rules as every other year. But they're telling the fans something different. Maybe it's it could be as simple as Vince thinking it's going to sell more tickets that way. Um, I don't know the reason because, you know, everyone was surprised when they saw it and they played it again Friday night. The exact same promo. Rampage, also a lot of good wrestling. Death Triangle beat the Butcher of the Blade and Mark Quinn in the opener. I thought that match was great. Butcher and Blade, you know, I mean, um, Death Triangle, that Phoenix is so good and P Pac is so good and Penta, you know, working with those guys is always good. And um, Mark Quinn is uh, obviously, you know, he can do a lot of really good things. Um in the right circumstance with the right people, he can really shine. And this was one of those situations. But, I, yeah, I thought this match was um, – I mean, people had already told me it was a great match, so it wasn't like I was shocked. But when I was watching it, it was like, man, this is a – this is really like one of those matches where it's just great. But, you know, in the 
you know, like, like if this was 20 years ago and there was a match like this on TV, people would be talking about it for a month. But like now, you know, they don't even talk about the next day because you're just so inundated with these kind of incredible matches. But God damn, you know, freaking Ray Phoenix. He's he is just unbelievable. We had Sean Spears beating Bear Boulder to do the giant killer gimmick since he's facing Wardlow in that. So, so this match. this this was not a great match. This was just a, a basic. It's uh, just two minutes. Yeah, just a basic short match to put the guy over. So probably so he's taking the ten lashes. Wardlow's taking the ten lashes on Wednesday. So, um, that would seem to mean that the Spears match. It's possible they tape it for Friday, but more likely it looks like Wardlow and Spears is going to be on the Wednesday in Vegas, you know, which which is weird because it, I guess that they would, because officially MJF and Wardlow is not a match, unless, and, and you know, it's, 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 it's a match with MJF as referee also, and Wardlow has to win the match to get the MJF match. So I guess it doesn't really matter because it's like if you do it, as long as you do it, you know, like before the wins, you know, well, it'd be the Wednesday right before. As long as you're doing it in the last couple of days, you know, the people are gonna, who are going to buy the pay-per-view, you're going to buy the pay-per-view, you know, uh, based, you know, everyone buys the pay-per-view the last minute. They don't buy it in advance. And as far as the live tickets go, um, I mean, they're basically sold out. So it's not like you need something to, to jumpstart ticket sales and tell people, hey, we're really having this match. But they are, um, I mean, they're definitely holding off like the whole deal, even though everyone knows they're having the match. I mean, the official thing is going to be pretty late before the match is announced we had ruby soho beating riho in a tournament match which i thought was a very good match very so good. uh ruby soho moves on yeah maybe wrong person won um because the thing like riho always gets over like always like maybe not when she first comes out but she has the ability to, to get over in a match i mean she's actually like phenomenal in that regard um, if someone who comes out, you know, some sometimes she's over a little bit when she comes out. Sometimes she's over more than a little bit when she comes out. But by the end of every match, she's got the crowd completely with her. And here, you know, with Ruby Soho, who's also a baby face, it was kind of like a split thing. But it was very much a split thing. It wasn't like they were not booing Riho at all. Um, but, you know, so, yeah, it's Ruby Soho and... Um, you know, so she's gonna, so she's advancing um, in the tournament, and there you go. So after all of the weeks of switching things around in this Scorpio Sky storyline, we have just reverted back to where we were like four weeks ago. It was Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian. They did a total babyface match until the finish, when uh, Dan Lambert came out and uh, took the referee. And Ethan Page used a belt shot, and uh, they played it up like Scorpio Sky got the pin but didn't know what happened. And then afterwards, they did the big teased split, but instead, Scorpio Sky took the belt, and he uh, he waffled Kazarian with it. So yeah. Scorpio Sky is a heel. Mm -hmm. Dan Lambert is a heel. Ethan Page is a heel. And they're, still they're still feuding with Sammy and Ty. Sammy and Ty hit the ring like two baby faces would, and they got the biggest boos of anyone on the show. Yeah. So I was baffled watching this in the sense that this Ty Sammy thing was not working as a baby face thing. And then they did the Scorpio Sky deal where he won the title in the ladder match, total baby face pop. The people were super new as a baby face. And I just thought, man, they've, they've fixed this problem. And then they've just gone right back to where they were. Well, I think that their idea is you cheer who you want to cheer. And, uh, but, um, I mean, they could have taken, I mean, they could have split Sky and Ethan up, but Ethan Page and Dan Lambert have to be heels. Sure. And, and the decision was made not to split them up and to have Scorpio be a heel and stay with the group. And Sammy and Ty are feuding with them. Uh, but, you know, everyone knows they're going to get booed, and, and they're going to work it that way. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. 
Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.